How are you doing mentally? Your mom had you when she was five. Biggest regret. What's the craziest reason you stopped talking to someone? Someone said one of your friends is hiding something from you. You single? Are you still in Chicago? Well, I've always been in Chicago since I was a really, really little girl. I know the streets in and out. I just know Chicago like the back of my hand. Do you have a boyfriend? Do a boyfriend have me? Put your head on my y'all i don't have my voice right now yes you guys read the title correct so before i get started with today's video today's video is being sponsored by dy here 777 is giving angel numbers because they've been nothing but angels to me dy hair sent me an italian curly highlighted wig and as you can tell i got someone to dye the highlights pink because everybody knows my entire personality is pink because of my mom. My mom, yeah. <laughs> she made sure that I would grow up and love pink. Let me tell you guys how this is my fourth install. No balding, no balding whatsoever. I have a full hairline in this wig. Okay, so my camera died on me, but I'm back. Head down to my description box below and check out the link straight to DY hair. This is, I believe, 22 inches. This literally, this falls on my body like a, a 30 inch, I kid you not. Definitely will say that the length runs a little long and it was definitely longer than expected. So I'm really, really happy about that. They're really, really lovely at DY hair. I love them so so, so much shout out to poppy i could insert clips of me getting my very very first install from dy hair with this highlighted wig even before the pink was incorporated my hairstylist really really loved the quality she said it's amazing the hair is a 12 out of 10 and i definitely feel the same way considering i've been able to get these mini installs and so the killer part is this install right here this fourth install I've had this in for about two and a half weeks. I know. Remember to click the links down below in my description box. Use my code for money off your order. And show me some videos of you and DY hair because y'all, I'm I've been giving in it. Okay. I know you guys are too, but <laughs> I've been giving in it. Without further ado, let's jump off into the video and you guys. Ignore my raspy voice. I know my voice is usually like really soft and babyish, but um, I lost my voice and it's been really, really hard to get it back because my whole life is centered around communication and having to talk a lot. So it's not, it hasn't been that easy resting my voice. It's a lot better than it was. So yeah, don't, don't ask me. Don't ask me any questions about it. <laughs> Someone said one of your friends is hiding something from you. I'll tell you one thing, keep it hidden, bitch. Do not let me find out. Girl, you you know, okay, that's why you got it hidden, you know better. You knew better, so you did better. Uh -huh. You lit, to be honest. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I am. Your mom had you when she was five. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it gives that. It gives like she, the way she looks, she looks like the oldest she could be is two years older than me, but five is crazy. <laughs> Your positive vibes always happy. Yeah, you know, I'm always in a good mood. I'm, I'm never in a bad mood. Well, no, let me not lie. I get in my bad mood sometimes. I'm usually, 85% in a really, really good mood. And my good moods are super good moods. Like super bubbly. That's what I am. I'm super, super bubbly. And I'm just like, I'm full of excitement. Like, I'm, I easily get excited. And when I'm excited, you will know. Hustler. Diva is a female version of a hustler. Of a hustler. Of a, of a hustler. I don't know. Even though I've heard that like a billion and three times, I get excited all a billion and three times when someone calls me that. 
because it's like, you know, love your amazing style and your feet so damn beautiful. You watching my feet? Mm. Thank you. Shout out to my stylist, Book Amisa did. Book her, she's the best stylist in the world, y'all. I don't be looking like a 10 magically, okay? People ain't out here as tens. People ain't giving looks. People outfits are not outfitting. Do you like sandals or heels? Because I would love to get you a pair of like Tiva sandals or Birkenstocks. I'm a heels girl. Don't get me wrong, I love sandals, but if I had the choice to choose between one or the other, I'm definitely going with heels. Mostly you guys definitely see more heels on my page than you do sandals. So you see more heels on my page more than you do anything. Tennis shoes bare feet like I'm always in heels it's been that way since I've been in like seventh or eighth grade like you've been a boss you were selling lip balm with your own name in second grade it's in you and was the real no okay mind you dap is back oh wait oh, let me show y'all dap is back i have mint and i have vanilla i've been selling them to so many of my clients love them i founded dap when i was really really young if you guys don't know um dap is my initials it's my siblings and i initials hence why i have my carry-on bag it says dap on it so i know that probably went over a lot of people's heads but that is my brand for sure i started the brand when i was really really young anyone who knows me knows that i've always been like a, a face kind of girl and every week i had new phases and new interests and new talents that i wanted to learn one of my special phases was dap and i created dap I wanted like this really nice lip balm. I didn't understand the power in what I created so young. So my mom just took over until, you know, until I could be like, okay, now I understand what I what I made. I definitely didn't understand. I was just messing around. But my mom always saw like what I created with things, even if I don't see it. So I started, I guess something that I didn't know would be um, carrying on for so long now, but, um, yeah, so I Dap is back, y'all. We're gonna open up a site back up, and you guys can order offline. Or if you book me, or if we see each other in person, then buy one mint or vanilla. It's completely organic. It's for men and women. So um, I especially love to give it to my makeup clients because if they get like matte lips or even a gloss, then it's a really, really good lip care as far as touching up the lips, um, keeping fine lines out, keeping them moisturized, so on and so forth. And even if there's no makeup on or if you're a guy, it, it works good for essentially and eventually plumping your lips. Um, taking fine lines out of your lips and nourishing them. So um, the list goes on of the things that it does. It's definitely in me. Um, even before I knew that it was in me, it has definitely been in me. I just had to find it. I don't know, it feels really good when people bring that up because it's like, dang, like you, you've seen, I don't know, it really hits different when it's people who've seen you go from, you know, point to point, you know? And that definitely just took me back to memory lane. Do you have any exes? Um, I do actually. Um, I have expedite expeditiously. Oh, and expertise. You a whole vibe. I wish I had a friend like you, y'all. If y'all can tell, I'm really like sleepy right now. I don't know why. We are friends. You guys are all my friends. You know, all my viewers, everybody that supports me on my social medias, everybody is my friend. It's always so funny. Well, I understand why you guys wouldn't know that, but it's just so funny when everyone's like, I wish I had a friend like you. Like, baby, if you follow me, even if I don't follow back, we're friends. I start my videos off as Hey Besties for a reason because you guys are my best friends. Without you guys, what, what would be what? You single? Are you still in Chicago? Um, I'm always in Chicago. You know, I've always been in Chicago since I was a really, really little girl. Since I was like three, I've always been in and out of Chicago. I would call it like my second hometown. Like, I know so much about Chicago. I know the streets in and out. I'm not, like, I just know Chicago like the back of my hand. I'm single Sundays through Fridays. So yeah, I, I kinda am in Chicago. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend? Do a boyfriend have me? Do a boyfriend have me? Will you marry me and let me be who I'm supposed to be to you? No. No. Three hails, ten naws. With your cash app, I can get you some heels. 
S-O-D-E Queen. So the Queen. S-O-D-E-Q-U-E-E-N. What's your favorite drink? I always think about how low-key ruined our friendship. What did you do? Get off my cat! She's such an aggressor. You are so perfect. You are such a goddess. Never let anyone take your shine away. <laughs> Thank you very, 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 very much. That means everything to me. Definitely won't let anyone do that. Cause I don't play that. <laughs> What's your shoe size? Uh, seven in kids, nine in women's. I know usually people say that um, that's equivalent to an eight or eight and a half in women's, but it doesn't work for me. How are you doing mentally? I am a thousand and three percent wonderful. Biggest regret? I love this question because I love to say that I don't have any regrets. If I did redo life, of course there would be things that I wouldn't do again. Like that's just common sense, that's anyone. I'm not walking around with regrets because I'm happy with what I've become. Any pets, I have, um, well baby girl will keep coming over here. I have three cats, um, I actually technically have two, but um, one, she, I was supposed to watch her for a little while until a friend found a new place to stay. But um, she ended up not wanting to go back and it's such a long story on how it was so clear to me and everyone that she didn't want to go back. But she would literally like, she would hide when her old, when her old owner would come. And she's a really, really um, friendly cat. She loves everyone, she loves to walk up to everyone. So for her to show that she has no interest in even been touched by them let alone go someplace with them it was like yeah i think this is my cat now what music do you listen to um i'm very very versatile with music i listen to i like soft rock for example um bon jovi i love his song i'm a cowboy on a steering horse i ride i'm wanted dead or alive I love like every genre, literally. I love every genre, and I mean that. Except heavy metal and like hard rock, I can't, I can't. What's your favorite TV show? Um, I really, really love One on One, um, Proud Family, That's So Raven, and Grey's Anatomy. You should get a tattoo. No, thank you. No, no. 10 hells, 50 naws. Hell, no. Nah. Let me eat that bleep like a cupcake. Sir, there are kids on here. Favorite food, um, I love anything as long as it's not peas or red beans and rice. The worst food you've ever eaten. Um, I don't wanna say which aunt, but I definitely feel like her macaroni was some kind of sick joke. What's the craziest reason you stopped talking to someone? They read too slow. And, and I just, I can't. You gotta pick it up. You gotta read with the punctuations. If you see a comma, baby, you gotta pause. You gotta pause for half a second. Why? Why are you sitting here reading straight through, baby? There was a comma there. That's gonna affect how I'm processing what they're saying in the text. Like, no, I can't. I can't, I can't mess, uh, no. I can't talk to someone who can't read. Like, you don't know your punctuation? It took you 20 seconds to figure out how to say the word necessary. What did you dream about last night? I actually, it's funny you asked me that because now you're suspicious. I was moving super slow. Someone was running off with my cat in a cage. So let me find out it was you. So that's gonna sum up the anonymous messages for tonight. So if you guys want more, just let me know. But I'm gonna go to bed now. It's about like three in the morning. I definitely should not be awake. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.